Here are instructions to make an origami glider. So we're going to start with an A rectangle and fold it in half lengthwise. And then turn over. And we're going to fold one of the corners down to the folded crease. It's going to be a guide to a fold we're going to make next. But I'm going to fold over at that point. So that point there, making a fold perpendicular to the edge and crease. Now we're going to fold it over. So from that point, where the folds converge. A diagonal at 45 degrees. So actually I could fold a square, but I don't need the crease in the upper section. So just putting that crease in. Now again, I'm going to fold that crease to line up with the middle crease. And down. And then fold the crease over. Line up the fold beneath and crease. Now fold this section up, open it out and flatten. So now folding that crease over, to touch the folded edge beneath. Turn over. I'm going to fold this front corner over. So the whole corner is folding over. And it makes a flat edge, a bit of weight in the front wing. Turn over. And I'm going to fold it in half. So the two sides fold together. going to shape the front wing, so I'm going to fold the, the edge over diagonally, so fold it and crease, and same behind. So we've now changed that from a flat wing to having a slight angle. Now we're going to fold the whole wings over, so it's now got a front wing and a back wing as you'll see. But this fold is coming parallel to the lower crease and the same on both sides. And crease. And fold the wings up. Now for the front wings I'm going to fold the tips up. On both sides. So match them up so they're the same, so it's even. When it flies, it sort of adjusts the flying slightly. At the back, I'm going to fold them down. I just find this makes it fly better. And again, the same on both sides. Then open them up. And we're ready for launch.